good morning children good morning some of you are not wishing the teacher say good morning teacher louder very good good morning my dear children so welcome back to our grammar class last day we studied which lesson do you remember which lesson we studied in the last class yes present tense what was the lesson we discussed in the last class present tense today also we are continuing with the other part the second part of the lesson so before that just discuss what are all the things we studied in the last class revision is always needed no okay fine ready before that where is your textbook how many of you don't have your textbooks with you take your textbooks and a pencil also will you do yes very good so let us revise for the thing what are all the things we discussed in the last class so we talked about many things and mainly we discussed verbs what are all the things we discussed yeah a verb has got three forms no a verb has got how many forms a verb has got three forms what are they yeah present tense past tense and the past participle like that we discussed that tense has also got three forms don't get confused with verbs and tense so a tense has got three forms which are they present tense past tense and the future tense verbs are related with what action verbs are related with action and tense is related with what time time it is a it's a word that indicates the time when or uh, at what time a particular action happened so that is indicated by the word tense then we discussed subject verb relationship what was the thing about subject verb relationship we discussed do you remember i told you this is a very very important lesson and you should know that also yeah what is it just recollect and say try to say yeah when a subject is singular the verb should also be singular if the subject is plural the verb should also be plural that is the subject verb relationship okay then we discuss how to distinguish between a singular and plural verb it is very easy to find out a noun whether it is singular or plural why because boy what's the plural of boy boys but how can you identify whether a verb is singular or plural yeah there will be a yes or yes yeah right is when you add yes or yes with a verb it becomes what it becomes singular not plural so right is plural and right is singular and we discussed that also then we come came to simple present tense and its functions what is simple present tense so or uh, what what is its use yeah we use simple present tense to talk about actions that are done regularly and also to talk about the state of being or the possession of a particular naming word or noun so and then we discuss another most important thing about be verbs we talked about be verbs which are the be verbs in present tense do you remember that say ah huh? very good is am at are is is used with all the three are in the present tense then what is the difference among these three yeah is is present tense singular it is present tense singular present singular and am is always used with i then r is used with present tense plural subjects okay it is present tense and we are use it with plural subject we use it with plural subjects so these are all the things we discussed why teacher is repeating this this is very important you have to by heart it okay so you should do that then today we are going to discuss present continuous tense i already told you present tense has got how many division four divisions which are what are they simple present yeah present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous in this lesson we discuss present tense and the present continuous tense okay is it clear very good so look here my dear children it tells us about action what is the function of present continuous tense 
it tells us about actions that are going on at the time of speaking. It's very important. Actions that are going on at the time of speaking. For example, look at the read these examples. Mary goes to school. Second sentence, Mary is going to school. Can you just identify which are the verbs in these sentences? In the first sentence, it is goes. In the second sentence, it is is going. Are they the same? Are they the same verbs? Not at all. Why? Because goes is in the simple present tense form. It is in the simple present tense form. And the other thing, what is it? Yeah, this is in the present continuous form. Then what is the difference between these two sentences? That is what I want to get from you. Can you just think about the difference between these two sentences? Are they the same? Mary goes to school means what? Mary goes to school every day. Mary goes to school regularly. That is the meaning of this particular sentence. But what about the second sentence? When I say Mary is going to school, yeah, you can see her going to the school. Uh, her mother or her sister or her father is saying, where is Mary? She is going to school. That means you can see her going to the school. At the time of saying that particular action is happening. Have you got the point? That's the difference between simple present tense and the present continuous tense. You should be very, very careful. You have to read and learn the structure of each and every tense form also. Will you do? Very good. Oh, do, do, don't. Uh, shake alone is not enough. Okay? You have to learn. Shaking is not enough. Goes is in what tense? Simple present tense. I think it's clear for you. This is in the simple present tense form and this is in the present continuous form. Present continuous. I hope it's clear. The difference is also clear to you. So Mary goes to school means Mary is going, Mary goes to school every day or she is doing that particular activity as, as a regular activity, as part of a as part of a habit. It's a habitual action. But when I say Mary is going to school, she is going to school at the time of speaking. I am teaching you grammar. At the at present time, when I when you say that or when I say that, I am doing that particular action. So it is the function of present continuous tense. What is the function? They tell us about actions that are going on at the time of speaking. So these are the examples given in your textbook also. Please look at your textbook also. Verify it. Page number uh, 42, I think. Yeah, page number 42. Yes. Can you take that page? So in the, the present, it is explained there also. Please read it again and again and learn it. Okay. So look at these three uh, sentences. Amit is swimming. Meeta and Rita are watching television. I am reading a book. So, in these three sentences, which are all the verbs? Yeah, in the first sentence, is swimming is a verb. Is swimming. In the second sentence, which is a verb? Are watching. And in the third sentence, it is am reading. Is the verb. You are not supposed to say reading alone. You are not supposed to say watching alone is a verb of that particular sentence. You are not supposed to say swimming alone. Not just the action word alone. Okay, sometimes verbs form or the verbs contain more than one word. More than one word. Here the verb contains two words. Two words. Is, are, am you already learned. They are what verbs? Huh? Be verbs. Very good. They are be verbs. So if you want to make a continuous tense, you need the help of these verbs. Can you just say the sentences without that is, am, am? Amit swimming. Meeta and Rita watching television. I a book. Sorry, I reading a book. Are they correct? Are those sentences correct? If you are reading that particular sentence without these be verbs, they are not correct. So this is the function of be verbs. They are acting as helping verbs. They are acting as helping verbs. They help the subject. They help the subject. And also this main verb. And also the main verb because these verbs cannot stand alone cannot stand alone that's why so here the verb is is swimming are watching and am reading so when the subject is singular i already told you what will you use is if the subject is plural are when the subject is i am is it clear my dear children yes very good 
look here the words is am and are are helping verbs you have to learn this also is am and are are what verbs helping verbs they combine with the ing form of the main verb to form the present continuous tense yes you cannot make continuous tense without this is am are if the subject is singular you have to use is if the subject is i you have to use am if the subject is plural you have to write are first then only the ing form of the main verb ing form of the main verb so write plus ing is writing swim plus ing is swimming go plus ing is going is it clear you have to be very careful when you add the ing there may be slight changes in the spelling so that also you have to be careful okay fine so this is the structure of present continuous tense learn this by heart what is the structure subject plus is or am or are plus ing form of the main verb mary is going to school i am reading a book they are going to school have you got the point so this is very important learn it by heart and you, sh you should not remember the structure of present tense also simple present tense what's the structure subject plus yeah verb root plus yes or es subject plus verb root plus yes or es if the subject is singular you have to add yes or es with the verb she writes they go he comes right like that so remember that also so structure of simple present tense is this you have to by heart you should be able to answer my question whenever I, whenever i ask that even if it is 12 o'clock in the night i'll call you and ask okay what's the structure of present continuous tense you should be able to say will you yes very good so that's the structure of simple present tense so subject plus verb root plus yes or es okay then you can use sometimes subject plus be verb also she is i am a teacher he is a dancer like that also okay so subject plus verb root plus s or es is a structure of simple present tense subject plus is am are, are plus ing form of the verb is a present structure of present continuous tense don't get confused you cannot use he is am are, are going no you have to select any one of this okay fine children so next next we are going to do the textual exercises so page number 42 exercise e can you take that write the answers now itself okay fill in the blanks using the present continuous forms of the verbs given in brackets so you should say along with me okay you have to say the answers the children dash themselves on the swings in the park which is a verb here enjoy so here what's the subject the children so what will you select from is am are you have to select the children is plural no so you have to select are very good so the children are enjoying what are they doing they are enjoying what they are enjoying themselves on the swings in the park second sentence charu dash her hair charu is singular so who is what it's an action no making your hair proper so what will you select is or am or are charu is singular so definitely it is is it is combing okay it's not comb okay Charu is combing her uh, her hair. He is combing her, her hair. Third one. We must rush now as it dash late, which is a verb here. Get. So it is always considered as a singular subject. So you have to look here. Do not be. Okay. So we must rush now as it is getting. Very good. You have to say the answers along with me. It is getting late. Four, the doctor dash the patient. The doctor is singular, which is a verb here. Examine. So think about the be verb. Which be verb will you select? Yeah, definitely. Very good. Yeah, very smart. Yes, the doctor is what? Examining. He's checking the patients, right? Examining means what? Checking. The doctor is examining the patients. And five, all the students dash work, sorry, dash hard for the exams. All the students are you all doing this no lazy work no we are not doing hard work all the yeah you are doing hard work i know all the students work is the work here what is the subject all the students singular or plural plural so what will you write 
are very good are working are working hard for the exams very good cell so number 6 tushar's mother dash lunch and tushar dash her there are two actions two action words are there what are they cook and help check the subject tushar's mother singular or plural singular so is first you have to write this whenever you are asked to write present continuous tense first you have to write this after the subject tushar's mother is singular then cook what's the continuous tense of cook cooking cooking lunch and tushar what is he doing tushar is also singular so tushar is helping how many of you do this how many of you are helping your mother in cooking huh don't think that oh i am a boy i won't help mother don't think like that both girls and boys can help mothers in cooking at kitchen okay today on those you have to do okay fine my dear children then sentence number seven a cat dash behind the curtain yeah a cat a singular so it is is hide is the verb and what is the continuous ing form h i d i n g i told you you have to be careful when you write the spelling so here e has changed to ing you are not supposed to write h i d e i n g it's wrong some of the verbs form their continuous tense like this okay then the last sentence the naughty child dash on the wall the naughty child ah we also some you also sometimes do i also used to do ah when we were children yeah the naughty child is what writing writing where writing on the wall writing on the wall i hope all of you have written the answers i will just uh, repeat the answers once again first one are enjoying two is coping three is getting four is examining five are working six is cooking and is helping seven is hiding the last one is is writing okay fine shall we move on one more exercise exercise f here you have to write the sentence complete sentence you have to write down rewrite the sentences changing the verbs from the simple present tense the given verbs are in the simple present tense you have to change it into continuous tense so present continuous tense and we have to rewrite the sentence shall we do yeah what's the first sentence sonal feeds her parrot which is subject here sonal is the subject and which is the verb here feeds feeds is the verb s means subject v means verb okay so here how it is changed sonal is the same but the sub verb has changed to is feeding simple present tense has changed to present continuous so like this you have to do clear so the teacher smiles at rohan say the answers loudly how will you change the sentence the teacher smiles at rohan here which is a verb smiles so how will you change the uh, verb into continuous tense here the subject is singular the teacher the teacher is smiling at rohan now the teacher is not at all smiling not only at rohan but all of you okay i am smiling at all of you so what is the answer the teacher is smiling at rohan very good the teacher is smiling at rohan write down the answers okay the teacher is smiling at rohan so here also look at the ing form here it is verb is s m i l e it has changed to i n g l on don't write s m i l e i n g is wrong it's okay be very careful regarding the spelling i hope you have finished so next sentence mr menon chops vegetables what's he doing he is chopping vegetables so how will he change it here what's the verb chops chops means what cutting cutting mr menon chops vegetables so how will he change it into continuous tense here the subject is singular so how will you change it yeah say mr menon is chopping vegetables very good so mr menon is chopping vegetables is it correct here also here the p has double look at the spelling so the ing form is formed in many ways many ways mr menon is chopping vegetables here the verb is is chopping what is the verb in that sentence is chopping very good sentence number 4 rahul helps anu with her homework so here what's the subject rahul 
singular. Here most of the subjects are singular. Here which is a verb? Helps. So how will you rewrite the sentence? Rahul is singular. So it is he is no. Rahul is helping Anu with her homework. Is it correct? Yes. Rahul is helping Anu with her homework. Very good. Sentence number five. Seema waters the plants in her garden. Seema, who is watering the plants? Yeah, Seema is watering, which is a verb here. Waters. Don't think that water is a noun. Water is a drinking liquid also. It is water. But what water can be used both as a verb and as a noun. When you water the plants, you are doing an action. When you drink water, it's a noun. Yes? Hope it's clear. So here Seema waters. Waters is a verb here. So how will you change it into continuous tense? Here subject is Seema, Seema singular, no? So Seema, yeah, is what watering the plants where in her garden. Yes, very good. So yeah, Seema is watering the plants in her garden. Seema is watering the plants in her garden. So here the verb is is watering. Simple present tense has changed to present continuous. Very good. Okay. Teacher is going to stop here because all these sentences you have to write on your own. Will you do? If everything is taught by the teacher, what's the use? I have to check now whether you have understood or not. So, my dear children, you have to write the answers of these three sentences in the space provided. Okay? I go to the temple near my house. Here the verb is go. Lavina walks very fast. Here the verb is walks. And Bharat plays football with his friends. Here the verb is place. You have to change it into present continuous tense and write the answers provided. In the space provided. Will you do? Yes, very good. So with this we come to the close of the lesson. This is an assignment I already told you. Page number 43. Exercise F, 6, 7 and 8. You have to write the answers in the textbook. So let us, uh, in a, uh, very quickly I will just revise the points we discussed uh, today. What is the present uh, structure of present continuous tense? Subject plus, yeah, is, are or are plus ing form of the verb. So what is the function of present continuous tense? Present continuous tense tell us about, tells us about the actions that are going on at the time of speaking. Think of this example. Mary goes to school and Mary is going to school. Mary goes to school is in simple present tense. Mary is going to school is in the present continuous tense. So these are the main points I discussed uh, today. So please learn about the subject verb agreement. Uh, three forms of verbs and tense. Everything you have to go through. If you have any doubt, please be free to call me. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.